Hi guys and very welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I will answer a couple of questions that I've got after I did my last tutorial about the stable scattering on deforming surfaces. The question was if the point deformed SOM can be used in this situation. Yes indeed, you can use the, the point deform for stable scattering on deforming surfaces but the point deform soap is typically used for deforming high risk geometry with low risk cage for example you have a tree or tree skeleton already simulated and you like to transfer this movement to high resolution tree however i wouldn't recommend using point deform for a setup that i showed in my tutorial because the point deform uses interpolation based on the search radius and also on min and max influence point. Let's look at the issue that you can get if you use a point deform. Let's see how the point deform works. I create some diagram for you to better understand the, the functionality of the point deform. You have your high rest geometry in rest position and also low cage geometry in rest position represented by the points and also your animated cage and you see we have the same uh, parameters here that the point deform has and also i just um, add the transformation for this point here if you look here if we just move this point what's happened this animation animated point just take low cage geometry here and this one point just move the other points within a searching radius because our switch search radius now is too small and we get only one point you see the same thing you get also here if you have only one point but if you just get more influence here and now adjust the number of points you will get the interpolation is kind of waiting from this point just within the distance every point has its waiting um, depends on the distance from this guy here now let's see on the issues that we get with the point deform in our situation okay this is a setup with point deform, I use the correct geometry here. I just template it and I freeze it on the first frame and I scatter 10,000 points on rest position. This rest position points goes to the first input. The low rest cache cage in rest position goes to the second one and animated cage goes to the third one. On a first frame, frame it's looking good but if you play the animation you will figure out that there are a couple interpolation issues here uh, the problem here is this geometry is very low risk it has only points here and here and the point deform has big issues to figure out which geometries or which points belonging to which geometry that's why you have these floating points and also if you look carefully on the places where the ge geometry um, interpenetrating you get the same issues here you can try to use this piece attribute where you can say okay i have this geometry and i give here one piece attribute and every point belonging to this geometry has the same piece attribute but this will be a very time consuming operation and every time you just adjust your total count of your points you have to just um, reselect or readjust your attributes on the other side if you look at the setup that we use in tutorial the points are perfectly sticking on a geometry doesn't matter 
if it's low raised geometry or if it's interpenetrating. Okay, let's move to another point. Okay, the other point is performance. While my approach uses just a few lines of X, if you use point deform, this is a complex digital asset will include a dozen uh, of nodes here. Let's see if you look here inside this guy here, you have network of the nodes here. And in our case, we use here two attributes, wrangles, or in this case, we use this one node. It's not a digital asset. Okay, guys, that's it for this tutorial. If you like this one, subscribe my channel. If you have a questions, just ask me in the comments. And I see you in the next one. Bye.